Okay. Yo, listen, I'm so sorry, man. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, we're back, man. We're talking about Bates Motel, um, season two pilot episode that, that premiered tonight. If you didn't get an opportunity to watch tonight's episode, it was called uh, Forgot Gone But Not Forgotten. Please stop listening now, major spoilers. Um, I totally, totally messed up, man. I think it was just because of the time. Um, that was a 20-minute um, podcast, and I just went way over time, all right? So forgive me for this. Let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about the huge um, incident that happened tonight, okay? And I guess it's kind of cool because I actually did. Um, I, I have more time to actually talk about it instead of going, you know, thirty minutes on one podcast. I can just talk about it on this one. Excuse me for just rambling, but I'm just kind of talking to myself. Um, gone but not forgotten. It's the season two, episode one premiere. March 3rd, 2014. Happy birthday to me. Let's just go ahead and say that. Thank you, A&E, for, for, for doing this on my day. I absolutely, I, I'm, 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 I'm beyond belief, okay? I love this show. It's a great show, and I'm just so happy that I was able to spend my day. Um, happy 30th birthday to me. Thank you, A&E. All right. The big thing that happened tonight, the big thing that happened, man, was that Bradley... First off, let's talk about the beginning. Bradley was drinking and driving. She jumped off a bridge, tried to kill herself. She was put into a mental hospital. She <laughs> She's in the mental hospital. We get the first look at her, and she looks like a zombie. She looks like a walker. Yeah, she looks dead. It's not the Bradley from season one. It's, a, it's an entirely different variation. Um, Bradley meets up with uh, Dylan. Um, Dylan informs Bradley that, you know, they can't do anything because of Norman Bates. Bradley's like, whatever. From that moment on, it was a game changer. I mean, we understood that, you know, from season one, episode one, that Bradley was concerned about the death of her father, okay? As soon as you saw that episode, man, and her father crashed, he was on fire, and then after that, things just started going downhill. Well, now we're pretty much at rock bottom. There's, there's, You can't go any lower than what she went tonight. She's searching for her father's killer. She goes and she starts talking to, uh, I guess you can say, let's call the friends of her father, okay? And these friends of her father, um, pretty much, or just one friend, pretty much just doesn't give a damn. And the only thing that he's trying to do is uh, sleep with Bradley, which is which is kind of concerning, man. It's kind of sickening if you really think about that. Um, he tells her, if you want those answers, come back later on um, or come inside now and I'll give them to you. But it's going to cost you um, pretty much. But he wasn't going to tell her anyway. He was just going to use her. Well, she goes back home to her house she starts looking through old boxes of her father, and it's it's a really emotional scene right there, man. It's, it's kind of hard to watch because you just see how much pain is inside of her, man. It's 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 I'm telling you, it's a strong, strong episode, man. Um, and especially this scene, man. You're just like, wow, man. You know, she's at rock bottom, man, and she's digging through this box, and all of a sudden she finds her father's gun. Yes, man, it's locked and loaded, man, and um, she holds it in her hand for a couple seconds, she's looking at it, and you're sitting here thinking to yourself, you're like, no, no way, no way, this is not going to happen like this, and she starts turning the gun towards her face, man, and you're sitting here like, oh my gosh, this is season two, episode one, please stop, please, somebody do something, I'm sitting here panicking, I'm like, okay, there's got to be somebody um, on planet earth okay and <laughs> on on the base motel that can save her that like, they're not going to do it like this if they do it like this i mean obviously that'd be the best you know a season opener that anyone has ever created and all of a sudden man you know she turns it she puts it in her mouth man she's about to pull the trigger and the doorbell rings okay and then the knock on her door for for her mom her mom um Tells her that, you know, somebody's there to see you. That's when Norman Bates comes in. And Norman Bates kind of closes the chapter on him and Bradley. Because he sent a um, about 50 letters to her while she was in the sane asylum. Um, anyway, fast forward that. We get to um, Bradley going back to talk to that guy who's like her father's friend. Um, which is pretty much like his enemy. And um, she's dressed like... I don't know, man. She's she's dressed like a hooker. 
let's just put it that way. She's dressed like a hooker and uh, she's ready to, to do business, I guess, to make this deal. And um, she sits the guy down. Um, first, she kisses him. I mean, the dude, when I say this guy, man, this dude's like, let's say 56. She's like 18, maybe. Probably 18. I think they should be 18 in this one because last season it was they were 17. They should be 18 now. So the dude's like 50, like he's about as old as her dad. She kisses um, him, and then after that, uh, you know, she sits him down, and she starts playing, kind of playing with him and stuff, and, um, you know, making out and all that stuff, and then she's asking these questions. He's not answering still. He just wants to be satisfied, you know, um, and then all of a sudden, like out of nowhere, because I was thinking to myself, I was like, okay, before I go on, I was thinking to myself, like, either she's going to do the deed and then seal the deal then, and that's how she gets information, and pretty much, like, selling her body, nah, man, she pulls out a pistol, blows this dude's head off, and, and, and seriously, if you go back and you watch the, um, uh, the teaser trailer, man, it's called the Facebook page, man, the Bates Motel Facebook page, watch the teaser, watch the trailer, the TV spot, all that stuff, you're gonna see this scene where there's this, um, seriously, a, a blood splatter from the dude's head, um, on the on the back of this glass, you see like the glass, you see a couch, you see a dude's head, then all of a sudden red blood shoots up, and there's blood all over the glass. That's that scene, man. She blows this dude's head off. Like, she just shoots his head off, man. And <laughs> brains are everywhere, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. It was actually sickening. Sickening to my stomach, man, because it's not, that's not the character that we know of Bradley, man. It's, it's, she's, she's, I don't know, man. She's like, you kind of call her like Sarah uh, Connor, you know what I'm saying? Because she's out there terminating people, okay? But <laughs> it, it's it's different, man. It's 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 she's at she's at rock bottom, man. There's nowhere else that she can go, man. But check this out. Where does she go after all of that? She goes to Norman Bates. Yeah, she goes to Norman Bates, man. And. There's nothing more to say besides that, man. The uh, the the episode ends, man, right there. And then next week it picks up hot and heavy, man. Lots of crazy, crazy stuff going on. Um, once again, man, season one um, was amazing. Season two, episode one, is the best episode in the, in the entire series, man. It was a 10 out of 10 star episode. I'm pretty sure, man, um, if you didn't get a chance to watch it tonight, um, probably look on either um, Amazon.com's uh, store, look on a and .com. There's got to be some way that you can replay it, and if not, I'm pretty sure this weekend, man, starting on Friday, they'll replay it, man. Um, go to the um, Bates Motel Facebook page, follow a and &E TV on Twitter at AETV. And just continue, man, to watch Bates Motel live, man. Don't DVR it. Or if you want to DVR it, that's fine. But make sure you watch it live. Get those numbers up so we can have a season three, okay? And um, always use that hashtag, man. Hashtag Bates Motel, man. And we're out of here. Thanks again for listening, man. That was 28 minutes, almost 30 minutes of you guys' life. Listen, I really do appreciate it, man. All right? <laughs> and uh, next week, we'll have another episode up right here.